these things work, you have to have constant meetings with the service provider and the client as well. All right. That's basically it. You did it. You did section three. All right. You want to stretch for a second? <laughs> I'm sure you can use a breath. Oh, okay. Because what I have here is a refresher quiz. And the refresher quiz I like to do verbally. Okay. I won't make you write this down. This is something I just do verbally to refresh the material. After that, I may ask you to take five minutes to clear your head and walk around the room before we launch into four, okay? You ready for your refresher quiz? I'm gonna hammer in everything you learned in section 30. Here we go. What are the two key KPIs or metrics used to measure the customer wait time experience? All the way back to nine o'clock this morning, or 9.30. Service level and <coughs> response time. Service level and response time. Those are the two. What customer wait time metrics should you use for contacts that do not need to be handled immediately? Do not need to be handled immediately. Which one? Response time. This is response time. Which metric better reflects the customer wait time experience for the contacts that do need to be handled immediately? Service level or ASA? Service level. Can you give me one reason why? Can you remember why? I'm sure you can. You've got the correct answer. But why is this so? Why is service level better? What would you think about it now? It's better, but why? Uh, well, I think you all have it. As long as you remember, ASA is only the middle people and the average. Average is weak, but service level tells you about 80% or 90% or whatever your target is. That, I'll go with that. That's great. <laughs> service level is Jennifer Aniston. That's all I always say. Okay, no problem. I'm <laughs> bad. I'm bad. Is there only one way to calculate service level? No, there are at least four ways. Could be even more depending on the technology out there. How do you determine whether you should use service level or response time? What's the dividing line that tells you I should use service level or response time for that kind of contact coming in? Do you remember how to divide between the two? Do you remember? I'll give you a second to think about it. I'll give you a hint. What if my email's coming in in 45 minutes? Or my email has to be handled in two hours? Which is which? How do I know? How do you know what's immediate, not immediate? 60 minutes, there you go. Okay, there used to be that TV show. I don't know if they ever showed it in 60 minutes. Okay, so it's 60 minutes is your dividing line. All right.